The next night, I'm laying in bed, and I hear, shut up, little man. I go, I'm not again. And then I heard the other voice, shut your fucking mouth, cocksucker. Shut up, little man. You shut your fucking mouth, you queer cocksucker. First of all, I thought it was this one lunatic, like, talking to himself in the room, right? Then I understood, oh, there's two dudes in there, and they're fighting. Then shut your mouth, you fucking piece of shit. So I heard Mitch get up for work, and I got up. Hey, man, did you hear those guys fighting last night? You know, again, I, I'm a very sound sleeper. Don't wake up very easily, so I, I was, certainly wasn't awakened by these guys. And uh, he said, oh, it was just crazy. I felt a little unhinged, and the fact that he wasn't hearing them was making me feel more unhinged. Gotta get to sleep. And then it happened again. No, gotta get to sleep. He uh, came into my room. It was about 3.34 in the morning. Just started like, shaking my leg, saying, hey, hey, Mitch, wake up, wake up. They're going at it. I jumped out of bed, ran into his room. We slid open the window, and we were sitting there listening. And he said, this is it. This is what these guys are doing. You bitch. You dirty little Don't man. Don't tell me a bitch. You, you are a bitch. God damn you. No, I'm not some sort of a fucking nut. <laughs> no, they don't have a bunch of giggle. Giggle all you want to Giggle! Giggle, dirty little man. You always giggle falsely. You don't have a decent giggle in you. I am a decent... Shut up, little man. I'm a decent fucking... Shut decent. up, little man. You are not. Shut up, little man.